Yes, indeed. I, I think the real criminals who are, uh, I call them the global warming profiteers, and in Al Gore's case, the racketeers, where he is now ignoring the order of a high court judge in the United Kingdom that found 11 serious, nine serious errors, I should say, in his mawkish sci-fi comedy horror movie. Uh, he deserves to go to jail for peddling a false prospectus in his investment management corporation, which is devoted to so-called green investments, all of which are, of course, collapsing as the world fails to warm up anything light as fast as the UN and its fellow travellers in the climate extremist movement have predicted. But uh, this idea that we should be arrested simply for saying what we believe to be the scientific truth, that is the same sort of noise that Hitler and his supporters made in the early 1930s before Hitler was swept to power. The idea was that if everybody else could be silenced, then only one point of view would be allowed to be put. And that's what they're trying to do now. And why is this? It's actually not because they think they're going to get away with it. It's because they think they're not going to get away with it. They are now becoming desperate. Opinion polls in those countries where there is still freedom via the ballot box to decide your policies, and that means not Britain, not the dismal European dictatorship, but it does mean Canada, it does mean Australia, above all, it does mean the United States of America. In those countries, each new opinion poll says that um, people are believing less and less in this extremist nonsense coming up by the climate extremists. They no longer believe it. They're no longer prepared to vote for it. They're no longer prepared to pay for it. They do not want it. And the global warming profiteers are in desperation trying to call for the final solution to silence the likes of me who dare to raise elementary questions like the one I'm going to raise now, which is how much global warming will a given increase in carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere cause? The answer in today's atmosphere, we now know by measurement very, very, very little. It will cause some, but only about a quarter, a fifth, maybe even a seventh or a tenth of the UN's central estimate, and therefore that is harmless and tiny and beneficial. In fact, if we could double the CO2 concentration in the atmosphere, the yield of some staple crops would go up by as much as 40%. CO2 is actually good for you. It's not harmful. But the reason why they want to stamp it out is that if they can pretend it's dangerous, it gives them the excuse to interfere and control every aspect of economic and political life and freedom in the nations of the West. Well, and selectively... to say to anybody in your Congress who supports those points of view, this is what's going to happen to you. We will vote them out. Absolutely. Uh, here, here on that point, uh, as you say, they're getting desperate. We're gaining in an index of polls as much as two, three points per week. Uh, just in the last few months, the 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 exposure of these these criminals, these control freaks, trying to seize our society through false guilt and and and, and uh, fear mongering, apocalyptic doom, is being exposed. But as you said, they're getting even more vicious. Everywhere Al Gore goes, he's now hounded about the Arctic and Antarctic ice sheets exploding in size. He's being hounded about 10 years of temperature going down, 15 uh, of it uh, slowing. Uh, he, uh, everywhere he goes, crowds are chasing him and, and, and you know, trampling him basically politically down into the dirt. And so how do you see them counter-striking? I think as far as Gore is concerned, he's a very sad, lonely figure now. He was the darling of the hour in 2007 when he got his Mickey Mouse Nobel Prize for peace. Uh, he was the darling when he got his Mickey Mouse Oscar for the best sci-fi comedy horror movie. I mean, he was, everybody thought he was just the bee's knee. Now that they realize that just about everything he said is false from top to bottom. The British High Court saying that the Armageddon scenario that he depicted is not based on any scientific view. He is now finished. Oh, well, he's, of 
course, he's made a few hundred million in the meantime, so he'll be all right in his retirement in his Tennessee mansion, which consumes 20 times as much electricity and emits 20 times the carbon footprint of any average house in the United States. Uh, he's fine, but he's now an irrelevant. And I think the way we're going to take it back is starting with the tax day rallies all over uh, the United States today, and especially the one here in Washington, we are going to put those in Congress who have drifted along with this garbage on notice that if any of them ever again votes for anything to do with global warming, they will be flung out of office forever. In the present state of the U.S. economy, where the debt from the year dot to the year 2004 was, I think, $4 trillion. It's now $14 trillion, and Obama has managed to add another $4 trillion in just the last six months. Um, that kind of flagrant overspending, if he now proposes to increase that overspending still further with all this global warming rubbish, then I think the ordinary taxpayer, the ordinary working guy who might have made the mistake of voting for what I am going to call what it is, a communist administration, will no longer vote for it or for, or for Obama. And let's just look at the effect of these enormous tax-increasing measures on Obama's own standing. Well, stay there, when Lord Moncton. We've got to go to break. We're going to come back and we'll go over that. Then we'll talk about all the new scandals filling in other pieces of the puzzle, clearly, in 2020 vision, showing massive, organized racketeering and what type of criminal action, uh, what type of criminal charges need to be launched to bring these scallywags to justice. Scienceandpublicpolicy.org is the website of Lord Moncton. Excellent information there, an invaluable research and education tool. We'll put it up on screen during the break here at PrisonPlanet.tv. And for radio listeners, it's linked up on our websites. We'll be right back. Stay with us.